Hello, my name is Sergeant Luther Washington and welcome to The Force, Defense TV's flagship program aimed at bringing you the most impactful stories from around the services. Every year, soldiers compete in the U.S. Army Best Medic Competition at Camp Bullis, Texas. The goal may have been to see who would come out on top, but if you ask the soldiers themselves, they'll tell you it isn't about the competition. Our success in combat is often equated to our decreased diet of wounds rates. In, uh, in World War II, we had a, uh, a higher diet of wounds rates than we did in Vietnam. We decreased it in, in Vietnam, we decreased it in Desert Storm, and we decreased it again in the current operations. Yeah, get some. Yeah. Love that shit. You've got medics so embedded in such different situations that medics have taken on a whole new role that, that they didn't have in, in wars past. We kind of opened up our training course uh, with a quote from General McChrystal, and it's, you know, everybody should be required to shoot, move, communicate, and medicate. One, two, three. Target's down. No. Yeah. This, this competition is different than, than any of the others because we have allowed tactical decisions to be made. We have integrated the combat medic within the, the scope of the, of the unit to the point where it's, they're, they're not just an individual that follows the, the platoon behind. They are now an integral trainer and they are, they are constantly helping the, the leadership understand what, uh, what it means to own combat medicine when, when things go south. To see more about the best medic competition, check out soldiers.dodlive.mil. When we started this project, we asked ourselves one question. Who is a soldier? Airmen at Creech Air Force Base, Nevada, have a much different deployed experience than most. At the end of their shift, they're responsible for missions happening across the world in Iraq and Afghanistan. This unique duty brings a whole new set of challenges these airmen must overcome. Every day, uh, airmen on this installation uh, are responsible for missions that are uh, potentially taking, taking enemy off the battlefield every single day. And I ask them, every time they come through that gate, I want them to have the deployed mentality. I want them to have a deployed mindset. I want them to have a warfighter mentality every time they drive through the gate. Then I want them to go home every night to their family uh, to soccer games, to, to being just part of a normal military family. And I want them to undeploy every night or every day when they drive home. And that's a really a, a bizarre dichotomy. And it puts a lot of stresses on our airmen when you ask them to do that every day. Think of it as a deployment plus bringing your family on a deployment. Having to do that for that many years really, you know, burn, burns guys out, you know. Um, and that's not, some people, that's not what they envisioned. And it's anything but a video game. Um, it's, it's real people doing real things that affect people's lives. And they are dependent on you to make the right decisions, so. Uh. The Air Force is a victim of our own success. We do things very well. And in our case, they want what the Air Force provides in terms of intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance, because we're, we're better than anyone else on the planet. It's no different than a manned airplane. The only thing that's different is the man isn't sitting in the airplane. Uh, this enterprise, um, and it's an insatiable demand. More about the Air Force Drone Pilots Program can be found at airman.dodlive.mil. The best place to lead from is the front. Sometimes it's just so cold and so wet, and so miserable. I mean, that's part of the process. You know, jumping in is just a way to get to work. Gunnery Sergeant John Bassalone received the Medal of Honor for his bravery in Guadalcanal and a posthumous Navy Cross for his actions in Iwo Jima. A new Arleigh Burke class destroyer will be named in his honor.
To see more about the USS John Bassalone, visit marines.mil. The sound of Velcro is heard as the ensign helps the junior sailor secure his M4 rifle to his utility belt. On the other side of the formation, a chief clicks on his helmet, then helps another finish putting on equipment. Although their rates and ranks may vary, one thing they all have in common is the goal to become visit, board, search, and seizure members. You gotta get that quick transition. You gotta get the weapon back in the fight. We can't exactly replicate a combat environment, but we can get pretty close to what they're actually going to see out there in the fleet. Everybody's volunteer for this course, yeah? Yeah! I've always wanted to be a part of more of a tactical team in the military, and as a service warfare officer, this is your best choice. You basically are a small detachment that goes out and does boardings on their ships for any kind of MEO operations. It was a lot, uh, a little skinnier than I thought it was going to be. So, I mean, you think of like a normal ladder, it's about 18 inches wide. This is a little six inch, six inch wide ladder that's metal, metal uh, rope. So it's, it's swaying, away, swaying in the wind kind of thing. You're bouncing around. It was a little difficult, especially with full gear on. This training here is a very uh, uh, all Jewish training. Um, it allowed the sailor to become strong, good judgment, good mindset. Keep grabbing the wrongs. Stay on your hands and knees, stay on your hands and knees, come towards me. Uh, this training is important because it's a very specific mission. You can't just have any, any sailor go out there and conduct the mission. It takes a special person with the type of skills to get out there and actually complete the mission. All Hands Online has a lot more on BBSS. Check it out at ah.mil. You can always check out The Force at any time on the Defense TV app or online. Visit your app store to download Defense TV and stay connected to all service news. I'm Sergeant Luther Washington. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next edition of The Force.